Each time I want to remember what it means to lose everything and then start over, I remember the story of Thomas Edison. At some point in his life, the building where Thomas Edison's business and other people's businesses were was on fire. As the fire raised the building, the other business owners concluded they would move away to another city to start their business over. Thomas Edison stood with his son, both of them looking at the burning building with all his works there. Then Mr. Edison said to the little boy, Son, tomorrow we start right over here again. Right at the same spot, Thomas Edison rebuilt his business, started over and succeeded. I know it's tough to start over. I remember when I first lost all my business finances due to my own mismanagement, of course. It took more than two years to bounce back. It was difficult going through the pain of starting another business and seeking to build another clientele base. It took an awfully long period, but it was worth it. The lesson learned in starting over was well worth it in the end. You may have lost your job, you may have lost your business, you may have lost a relationship, and whatever seems to matter to you. Even as a young person, whatever it is, it is never the end of the world. It often comes as a shock when you've lost everything, but losing everything is a part of life. As long as this life remains, we will always experience the inevitabilities of life. What matters is not that we lost everything, but how we choose to bounce back. If you have lost everything recently, you don't have to give up. In today's video, I will be sharing with you ways on how to start over when you have lost everything. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Focus on the positive. It may not be the most interesting thing to lose everything, but what you focus on expands. If you keep considering what you have lost instead of thinking of the lesson this is teaching you and how to rebuild, you would give up altogether. Those men gave up on their businesses and moved somewhere else while Thomas Edison chose to remain. They kept focusing on what they have lost instead of thinking of how to start over. It's just natural that when bad things happen, we are most inclined to focus on the bad side of things. As a result, we must deliberately choose to focus on positive things. If you focus on the positive, then the positive will expand. For example, if you lost all to debt, then instead of focusing on the money you've lost, you could focus on the tough experience you've gleaned from the debt and in the future, plan to never get into unnecessary debt. Also, you could see that as a relief from offsetting all that you owe. You can now start on a clean slate, knowing you will be careful to get into needless debt. You must understand that whatever you're going through is not the end of the world, even though it feels like so at the moment. It's just a normal part of life that you lose everything. How you bounce back is what matters, and you can bounce back from this or remain stuck for life. It all depends on your response and attitude. Choose to keep your attitude positive and focus your mind on the positive. Eventually, doors will start to open again. 2. Focus on your strengths. If you look at it well, this may not be the first time you're losing all. Chances are, if you think back on your life, you have lost all at some point. You didn't give up and die as a result. You got through just fine, and so you're here. You got better after that challenge. Adversity is your greatest advantage. You lost all, but you got back on your feet. Now that you're faced with this challenge, choose to focus on your strengths. When you have lost all, as long as you still have your life, you still have who you are. I recently saw a movie where a billionaire told his daughter, we will lose all now but I will start over somewhere else. You're not wealthy if your wealth is based on how much you have. You're wealthy if you can rebuild your wealth when everything is taken away from you. When Steve Jobs was stripped from his position as CEO of Apple Inc. in the 1990s, he could have given up, but he didn't. Instead. He leveraged his leadership and management strengths to build Pixar Animations and other companies. From that monumental success, he was invited back to Apple Inc. only to revolutionize the company years later. Now that you have lost all and are willing to start over, focus on your strengths. What are you good at? What do you do best? What comes easily to you? Make a list of all you can do and plan on delegating those you can't. You don't have to do all. You just have to do well only the things you can do. This is all that matters. When you want to start over, you're basically choosing to let go of the past to focus on the future. You'll need your strengths to push from there on. 3. Focus on planning. When you have identified your strengths and you're figuring out what to do with them, then start to make plans. But plans are worthless if you do not write them down. For psychological reasons, when you write things down, they stick with you and they often become clearer. So you know how to follow them. Write out your plan of reinventing yourself. What will you do with your strengths? If you're skilled at writing, how do you plan to use your writing skill to start over? The pressure of starting over can be too overwhelming. Before it does, write down all the tasks you need to carry out in the least order. Then, write down those tasks according to their priority and deadline. Do the most urgent and important tasks first. 4. Focus on progress, not perfection. 
You're just starting over, so you don't have to get everything perfect. You may have had a perfect life before you lost everything. Why? It took you years to have what you suddenly lost. As a result, you may dot over the little details and keep working intricately on your plans because you want them to be perfect. But behind that perfectionism are the fears you're not confronting. The fear of falling again. The fear of being judged. The fear of losing it all. The fear of not achieving the level of success you once had. All of this are oftentimes hiding behind perfectionism. Such fears are conquered by action. It's not how perfect you start that matters, but whether you choose to start. When you start, all that you need to have and know will come to you. Take baby steps towards the direction of your new plan, and whatever happens, at least you started. That's what counts. 5. Focus on learning. You have lost all. Yes, you are starting over, and it is tough. Yes, use this time to learn. By focusing on learning, you gain more information on how you can solve your problems and plug every hole that may want to have you repeat the same mistake you made to lose it all. You most likely lost all because there was something you didn't know. By choosing to focus on learning, you gather knowledge on how to never repeat such errors in the future. Learning helps you to bridge the gap between now and the future, says Dan Luck. When you learn more, you may discover several other ways to tackle your problem and how to avoid such problems in the future. The next time you're faced with such a challenge that claimed all you have, you will take advantage of the knowledge you have to overcome easily. In summary, losing all can be tough, but if you have lost all, you can bounce back. Focus on the positive. Focus on your strengths. Focus on planning and writing down your plans to start over. Focus on progress, not perfection, and never stop learning. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.